I'm with the Department of Agriculture and Food, based in Albany, and I'm working in the western areas of the Agronomy Jigsaw Project. In the second talk, we'll discuss the chances of applying variable rate lime with confidence. There have been studies looking at relating lime requirement to rapid sensing technology such as electromagnetic and radiometric survey. In one case reported by Frank Demden, EM mapping related very closely to lime requirement in a landscape with very different sand plain and shallow duplex mallee soils. The higher EM was related to shallow neutral to alkaline clay in the profile, leading to lower lime requirement than the sand plain soils. In another study by CSIRO in northern WA, a combination of EM and radiometric survey was able to describe lime requirement across a paddock. In both cases, there was sufficiently intense soil sampling to verify the relationships between the rapid sensing and lime requirement. I can't suggest that either method will work as a substitute for more intense soil sampling in all situations. Testing for pH alone is fairly cheap, so cost of analysis shouldn't be a barrier to intensive sampling considering the cost of liming up to $30 or $60 a hectare. The main thing is to identify soil type or zone areas and to sample each separately for both topsoil and subsoil pH. There's a reasonable example of zone testing and lime requirement on page 11 of the Soil Acidity Guide for WA Farmers and Consultants, which is DAFWA Bulletin 4784. In this case, aerial photo interpretation and farmer knowledge of soil type variation in the paddock to find a variable rate lime application to address both topsoil and subsoil acidity. Ideas of yield mapping and nitrogen fertiliser rate mapping have been proposed to estimate rates of acidification and lime requirement, but there are more factors than these to include in a predictive model. When liming for soil acidity, Monitor soil pH by profile layers to check that applications are achieving their purpose, ensuring subsoil pH is being fixed as well as the surface pH. Until rapid survey techniques are more closely correlated to actual soil pH across a range of landscapes, relatively intensive soil profile testing will be needed to vary lime rates within paddocks.